Hi Revivers, we are going to talk about how to use natural plant compounds to jazz up your food. By using phytochemical, which is the plant compound to decorate our food, we are ingesting antioxidant compounds instead of nasty chemicals and doing a favor to our body. The more colorful your food, the better it is for you. The rainbow cake doesn't count though. Let's get right into the color compounds and how you can use it. First of all, the greens. For the food, you can garnish the meal with green coriander and spring onion and you have a beautiful dish. In Thailand, a lot of meals cannot be completed without these. And for baking, matcha is the perfect green compound for baking purposes. Let's move on to the red. Red pepper or red chili can add so much flavor to the meal. Seriously, you can't go wrong with red. Who can forget tomatoes? Add some of those into your dish and you instantly make it beautiful. And for baking, do you fancy a red velvet cake? But you don't want to add. Let's move on to how you can use it for baking. A healthy bakery near my office adds beetroot and pomegranate to the cake. The color payoff is amazing and the taste is not detectable. Moving on to orange. Carrots adds amazing taste and also look amazing. In Thailand, carrots are carved really beautifully and placed on the side of the dishes. Orange cake anyone? Add some carrot, orange or sweet potato for beautiful color and taste. Moving on to the perks, my personal favorite. Instead of brown rice or white rice, try raspberry rice with added vitamins. Add in crispy baked sweet potato as a replacement of rice and your plate of steak will look amazing. On to the purple pastry. Just add in purple sweet potato or blueberries to make it colorful. These are some of my favorite ways to add colors to your diet. There are other plant compounds to add other colors as well. You could also mix these to create a new beautiful shade. Nature has so much to offer. We don't actually need the synthetic colors for our meals. Happy cooking, baking and decorating. Bye!